Previously on AI The Somnium Files. Name Date. Hey, there's someone in there! Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? Let us begin. Begin what? Begin what? Exactly my point. If <laughs> a small bit of minced garlic and a gun! <laughs> Enough of that, back to the video. Holy moly, what is this office? Good god. Good morning, Date. <laughs> Boss! These are just children! I was waiting for you. There's another demonstration. Yay! You're waiting for me, huh? So, sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Why did I make that joke? Uh. Someone help me, I'm. Plumbing the depths of the bottom of the barrel for my comedy. What is this office? Good grief above. This isn't an office, this is a shop. Bags hanging on a rack inside the bags and masks, like for costume parties. Why? Shelves. Okay. Shelves. Okay. Tombstone? Rip. <laughs> Today on DJ Plays, we play AI the Somnium Files, or as or as it's more commonly known, I lose my faith in humanity the more I play this game. Uh more shelves. What's this? A mannequin? A police officer? The wax in hand and pull hair back hairstyle. Yeah, it's just. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. It's a me, Mario. No. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This is. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, you got me. <laughs> you got me. Got it. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it's very. T no, she. No, yeah, yeah, he wants to die. I want to die. Ugh. A flag with big catch on it. Okay. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Nerd! Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. I'm losing my faith. I mean, this is, it, it, you would expect it to have decent writing for a Japanese game coming from the same developers as Danganronpa. Uh, admittedly, Danganronpa was also very confusing and also purple. Uh, but yeah, no, what I mean, right? Hmm. Soccer ball. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from. Oh no! Here we go again. <laughs> Do you think tanuki. it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? <laughs> what is this? I won't even ask why you have this thing. That's not a banner, that's a sign. The birthday party was a while ago though. A pumpkin carved like a jack-o'-lantern. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? A, bil a bill lantern Really? Yeah, I know it's a real folklore thing, but like, they to, to bring it up, it's such a... Sorry, it was ...blase, nonchalant way, it's like... Okay! <laughs> it's all the files and binders, but I don't know what. It's got books, manga, movie, games, all sorts of stuff. What is she doing here? I, I I want to know too. Why does she have a darts machine in here? Why do you have this? <laughs> why why do you have this? So if we're trapped down here when World War Three starts, we'll have something to do. Oh, so we're down here. This is a basement. Uh, uh, there is an animated film with him. He's gonna. <laughs> sure, it's not Super Mario Bros. Three, boy. It's are you sure it's not Super Mario Bros. Three. <laughs> are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? Uh. Spur? No. You're just gonna tell me that and then not elaborate? Excuse me? I'm also not surprised at all that, was, that there was a film with Tanuki using there to fly and fight and stuff. Ah yes, a boy band poster. <sighs> yep. 
They're all my husbands. Wait, what? Husbands? Excuse me? Your husbands, as in each one of them is your husbando, or was the poster from your husband? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. So what do you do with it? Do you hit yourself in the face with it? Is that why your face looks like that? Or is that why your hair looks like that? I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. A stationary bike for indoor training. I mean, I mean, that's typical. It's a map on the wall. It's probably a map of like some area of Japan. No, Chris, no, what the hell? That's my grandpa's death mask. Oh! The guy had a huge face. A mysterious mask is displayed on the wall. Uh, what's the Christmas tree for? While. Oh. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down. And <laughs> yeah, grabs a bear. You're down. right, you're right, Kaki. Uh, coat rack. Anything here? There's another poster. A pennant. Some rule town. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, okay, now we can. Okay, come, hold on, computer. A type that has a, mo a computer. The type that has a monitor built in. G. I wonder. A sort of computers don't have monitors. Okay, now let's actually talk to her. I see you haven't. St you see you still haven't cleaned this place up. Idiot. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Kasumigaseki. Chiyoda District. You don't. Uh, this is the problem with Western voice actors pronouncing Japanese names. Uh, this is the persona problem all over again. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? Why are we six stories underground? Why is your office six stories underground? Shouldn't it be up high somewhere in the building? Maybe? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. Yeah. Tell me about it. So, I try to make my office colorful, liven things up a little. It's mm -hmm. like a party, right? I wanted to feel fun in here. Well, I've certainly had a lot of fun spending 15 minutes making fun of every single thing in your, in your room. She's sitting on the desk casually. Yeah, no shit. Uh, what is the status of the investigation? Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? The commander of Abyss Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You... The game introduced you as boss, so I'm assuming... I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder. Gee, that would that would have been nice to know at the start of the game. Game. Don't remember anything past six years ago. Well, I mean, there's your problem. Flashbacks recently fragments of my past. I'm assuming that's the random people showing up in that dream, and why the dream was also breaking, and then that whole murder thing. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, uh, so... Nothing to report then. Got it. Yeah, I know. This it's it's infuriating me, pair. I'm amused and pissed at the same time because of how bad and how good and how, it's so bad it's good. The sort of writing. It's it has its moments, but overall I'm not impressed. So far. It's only because I like mis murder mystery games, kind of like this, except that this is a Japanese bent on it, so like, are there any leads at all? I don't know if I would call them. Yes, yeah, she just makes up stories. Yeah, because I got I I thought I got the I got brain damage. So every time every time he asks her about the stuff in her room, she makes up completely different stories for everything. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand. We were able to identify the manufacturer, but I mean, <sighs> it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. So you're telling me that you have a murder weapon and a prime suspect. However, you're also telling me. The prime suspect cannot be the murderer because of conjecture that the ice pick, because the ice pick is sold nationwide, therefore it couldn't possibly be the murder weapon. Excuse me? <sighs> Damn. Okay. The reason why you would check manufacturer sometimes is if you don't have the murder weapon on you, but forensics can figure out what the weapon is by way of examining the body, striations, I mean that's how they figure out um, in terms of ballistics. They can backtrace projectiles that have been fired from guns. They can use um, their, they can use um, whatever um, systems they have, I forgot what, to backtrace the, the type of gun, the model and the make, as well as the caliber. And then using that information, they can then process it through national gun databases. This is in the US, by the way. Uh, national gun databases to look for a specific gun, perhaps in connection with the killer or the suspect. But if you're looking at a melee weapon, like an ice pick or a knife, it's a bit less, it's a bit less 
obvious considering that you're looking at a melee weapon. Um, if it's okay, let's say if it's something like a hunting knife. So you would have a sharp edge and a serrate. Actually, I shouldn't be showing this. I should not be showing that on stream, but I have two of those. But you have like a straight edge and then a serrated edge. So if your if your um your mortician or your coroner tells you that the wound had um you know like these these this kind of marks for this 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 kind of weapon you would then feasibly be able to figure out using other evidence in that case to create links like oh maybe this person had this kind of knife because they go through like this maybe they're hunters or maybe they use these or maybe they're divers it's like a diving knife or something this however <laughs> yeah it's a uh, this this must not be set in japan it must be set in britain because you need a license for them dangerous screwdrivers we did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly <sighs> this is basic knowledge do you see what i have to work with do you see? We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim. No shit! Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh, a plus writing. 10 out of 10. IGN put this at the top of the game for. Uh, yeah, no, it's the it's the blood of the detective that found the found the weapon. No, obviously not. Definitely not the victim. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. One plus one equals two, right? And two plus two equals four, right? Almost definitely. Almost definitely, you say. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. Okay, that's fair. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. PTSD? Um, makes sense. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Also makes sense, yes. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Were you with her this whole time? Probably, yeah. You're like her legal guardian, then. No. She just lives with me. Ah. Okiura Mizuki. The girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12. <laughs> anime problems. I thought that girl was 18. No, she's 12. I hate anime art. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but you can't blood related. Sort of like a streak, <laughs> of course. This would make sense if I bet this whole sentence would make sense if it were in the original Japanese. This whole sentence would make sense if it were in Japanese, but it's not. It's in English. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. <sighs> okay. Uh, who's Renju? Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby, being interviewed. Must be a brother or a family member of some sort. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and- oh, it's, oh, sorry, it's her father. Who's Shoko? Oh, Shoko is the- uh, it's the lady that got murdered in the intro. Okay. Let's mention an old friend of mine. Okay. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. How much you want to bet he's either dead or missing? No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. Oh, never mind, he's right here. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify. Very suspicious. Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. Naturally. There's a... Okay, there's a little pixel. Okay, there we go. It's a King Shogi piece. Oh, it's a chest, probably. <clears throat> How about the ice pick? The pick Mizuki was holding? Yes. The only prints on it are hers. Okay, makes sense. The evidence is really stacking up against her. Yeah, it does kind of make sense, yeah. No. She couldn't have done it. Fuck on possible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Yeah, you don't want a 12-year-old girl to go to jail for murder, right? Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? <sighs> Date, forget about it. How much you want to bet that this case that she's um, ev a purposely evading mention of is the same case that caused this guy, our Date, to lose his memory? How much you want to bet? What? It's been a long time since I've been in a crime scene and I got a little carried away and... You're my boss, you should be telling me things about stuff so that I can understand where you're coming from. Yeah, no. <sighs> Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. Bitch. That just makes me want to know even more. Exactly. That case has nothing to do with this one. Are you sure about that? 
but it might. <laughs> See? Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. I mean, when you're looking at copycat killers, you want to cross-reference evidence in your in these two murders because even though one might be copycatting the other, things might be different. The killer's MO might be different. The evidence they leave behind might be different. Motivations might be different. Victims might be different. Circumstances might be different. You want to cross-reference these things to see what stands out and what doesn't. That's impossible. Literally impossible. No, it's not! <laughs> so it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. Bitch. I don't accept that. Yeah, I don't accept that either. The alignment of the stars may be different. Yeah, you're right. Just give it up, Date. Is there anything Let's else? See. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. Mm -hmm. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not. Well, of course, I'm going to have to look into it because you're not telling me any of this information beforehand. I haven't seen her for over a year. Oh. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? Yeah. It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female. Residence, Maguro District. That is very fancy. Also, what the hell is up with your neck? Good god, that's a long neck. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so Oops, I think I skipped some dialogue. old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together. A daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. <coughs> Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nidami. Okay. I should also give you this. What's that? It's a picture of Shoko. Oh, uh, no shit. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Yeah, as if I didn't have that saved in my phone already or printed one out beforehand, you know? <sighs> Since you don't have a cell phone. Ah, that's why. I don't have a phone. The hell is this? This is 2020. Why don't I have a cell phone? Oh wait, it's because I probably blew all of my money on the fancy computer inside my eye. I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Okay. Uh, can I still ask you about this? I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. Okay, fine then. Be that Even way. if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dom P. Kabuki. My lips are sealed. Uh -oh. But why, boss? It's top secret. Classified. Are you sure about that? It was that bad, huh? <clears throat> If that's how you want to interpret it. Can I still ask you about it? Give it a rest, Date. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. You're my boss. This isn't harassment. Or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. Ah, yes. Playing the gender card, I see. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. <laughs> I... I mean... Uh... I can detect your thoughts, remember. Ah, uh, it was a mistake for me to wire you to my brain. Thank you for your input, Iva. Okay, fine. Did you ever identify who called it in? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Okay. Mm, unfortunately, not yet. Pay phone, cell phone, home phone, trace a number? What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. You could just backtrace the number? Hello? I'm. Technology in this universe is enough for me to have an AI inside my freaking eye, and you can't backtrace a phone number. Hello? You should have a location by now. Mm -hmm. All we know is that it was a payphone. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. <clears throat> a payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. I mean, not entirely unusual given the by the given the um, the common trope of an anonymous person tipping off the police to a murder or a crime by way of a payphone. I mean, it shows up in a lot of popular media. It's a it's a common trope. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. For that reason. It may have even been the killer. For that exact reason. What the hell? That's creepy. Excuse me, what the hell? Okay then, that's... That's not normal. That is... Okay, that's... Freaking weird. My eye can move by itself. Hello. Frick. Okay. 
No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. My eye! I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. I mean, okay. First of all, let me point out to you how that how this would not be realistic. If you have a fake eye with a computer, it should be wired to your brain, correct? Therefore, the act of doing this should be causing you immense physical pain. Well, still. Wow, it's actually, it is actually just tracking the movements of, of my character's head looking around. Oh my god. That is freaky. The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like you and me. Oh what? Have the hands died? What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. This is this. There's stickers all over the front. Yeah, no shit. Who are you? Why did you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? You're an eyeball. Why do you need exercise? It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. Uh, Pewter, first name Com. The official title is AI Ball. Ah! My eyes! That outfit! Ah! You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Nothing short of infuriating, if you ask me. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. An autonomous birth from collective nanotechnology. So it's it's, it's giving me a broken <laughs> So which would you like, the water type, the fire type, or the grass type? Birth from collective nanotechnology. That means my eyeball is a geth from Mass Effect. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Okay, so it's not it's not sentient. But in all of the interactions I've seen thus far in this one hour of playing, this AI appears to be sentient, but it's not. I... You've lost me, game! Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. Figures. A partner in my ear. Ear. I, not ear. <laughs> she will be your personal computer and your personal companion. I can't identify personal full companion from a computer that lives inside an eyeball. The rating is infuriating me. I must be living in my head ever since. Yeah, no shit. She gathers info and runs analysis, and access wireless networks and hacks other computers. Ah, so you're um, you've got Wi-Fi. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. See, the fact that they say this, and yet she is able to willingly eject herself from this man's eye socket. I am surprised that he has not been rolling on the floor, crying and howling in pain for like ten minutes. <sighs> Must have saw her there actually speaking. Yeah, I know. Um, why did you come out? Okay, what's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. Well then say it. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. Seriously, you came out because you had something to say? I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Uh, so my brain and her brain can work on it independently. Uh, okay, kinda makes sense. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. <laughs> AKA, AKA, shut the fuck up! Let me talk! I have determined who reported the crime. Are you serious? Huh? You have? Hey, elaborate, oi! I found the payphone that the caller used. Okay. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. CCTV, let me guess. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security okay. cameras operating okay. nearby. Okay, that one makes sense. So you found a way into that database? I'm probably illegal, but sure. That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. Okay. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. Oh. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh. Oh my god, who was it? Another character that I give zero shits about. Matsushita Ota, 24 years old. Male. Okay. I have marked his address on the map. You're not telling me who he is. That is all. You're not telling me who he is. Date. Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Get back in my eye, you ass. I better get back in my head. Whenever you're able to visit a destination, map will appear in the bottom right hand of the screen. Open up the map and pick a destination. Okay. Let's check the tutorial by going to the appendix. Alright. Okay, get back in my head. No. God damn. I'm giving you an order. 
<laughs> Get back in my head. No. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> At this point, I'm just ex I'm not expecting anything, and I'm still disappointed. Does not compute. Ugh. You claim these. You claim this thing isn't sentient. Yeah, it clearly is. <laughs> you know, you are kind of cute like that. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. For a bear with a giant eyeball for a face. Your attitude isn't though. <laughs> so, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Oh no. Nope, not cute at all. Who are you? No, I, I know who you are. Alright, let's head to the map and go... Oh, so... Okay, so the no clear it, clearest... Bleh. The closest CCTV camera place was at the... It was at this diner, apparently. Okay, let's go there. Finally, some progress after like 20 minutes of just faffing around at that stupid office looking at stupid things and stupid people. Of course you own a mu muscle car, of course!